Hello guys, in this video I'm going to talk about a very new feature which was introduced in Python 3.6 and it is F strings or the formatted strings, okay? So let's get started. So you must already be aware of a few formatting techniques which are already available in Python. For example, um, let's say I have A equal to 1, B equal to 2, then I can do something like this, print, then I can put um, A equal to modulo D, B equal to modulo D, and then I can just put another modulo and then a comma b right so this will print something like this so it's quite ugly right so this is uh, one of the oldest formatting techniques available um, and after that python 3 was introduced and another formatting technique was introduced which was the format function so what you can do is you can simply do something like this a equal to um, curly brackets which is something like um, a kind of a placeholder so you can do format a comma b so what will happen is that these placeholders will be replaced by the actual values of a and b so what you get is something like this right so format function is quite easy to understand and quite um, concise right so this was a very um, easy way of representing or you can say formatting the strings but there is still some kind of problem with format function for example let's say I have a lot of data which I want to show in a string for example I have name I have um, age I have college let's say I have city and let's say uh, I even have country as well okay so something like this so I can just um, use format function to print something like this hi I am I will put the name here my age is I will put age here so um, I study at something like this dot I live in comma this okay so this is what I will be printing and I will now going to I'm now going to format it with those variables name age college city country okay so now let me run it so I get something like this right so this is um, quite easy to do but the only problem with this complete thing is that it is quite verbose um, a lot of text has to be written to do this thing and as you can see that you are putting the placeholders here and after that you are just specifying that what has to be put in that value and then using another format thing here right so it is making the length of this complete sentence um, a lot more okay and um, a new kind of formatting technique was introduced to make it a more compact to make it more compact okay so a new thing or you can say a new formatting technique was introduced in python 3.6 which is called f string or you can also say formatted string okay so let's see what it is and how it um, helps us in making this complete thing a bit more compact okay so let me just show you let me copy this whole thing and I'll, uh, I will uh, and I'm going to print it like this so in order to write a f string you have to put an f before your string okay like this and then inside those placeholder values you can simply put the name of the python object that you want to show there okay so name age college city country okay that's it and that's it okay so this is how you can use the f strings so the only difference between that format function here and the string and the formatted string here is that you can simply put the python objects inside the placeholders you do not need to put another function and then specify which parameters will be passed to those pla to those placeholders okay so this is the best thing about f strings so anything that you put here will be evaluated and its result its output will be printed here okay so let's take another example so if i have a equal to 1 and b equal to 2 then i can do something like this as well print print sum of um, let's say a and b is a plus b and 
that's it okay sorry so let me make it a formatted string first okay so sum of 1 and 2 is 3 look at that um, it's quite easy to evaluate the uh, expressions as well in the formatted string you just put the expression in the formatted string and put that um, curly brackets before it so that expression will get evaluated and its value will be printed here right so this is the concept of f strings and last uh, let me take one more example let's say I have a dictionary okay basket apples one bananas two okay and then if I want to show uh, the count of these apples and bananas in an f string something I, I can do something like this um, I have this much apples and this much bananas okay so now what I have to put inside these placeholders I have to put what I want to show only that's it so basket apples okay and here basket bananas that's it so I have one apple and two bananas okay so this is how you can uh, just simply put what you want to show that's it just put the Python object that you want to show and that will be printed in the formatted string okay and you can also put the lambda expressions inside the formatted string like this um, I can just put a lambda function here by just writing a lambda function lambda x returns x into x and I have to evaluate it over let's say 4 so this is a simple lambda expression and it will be calculated inside the f string like this okay so this is how you can use the f strings it is nothing but a simple placeholder which contains any kind of python expression or a python object which gets evaluated at the runtime and you get its value printed in the formatted string that's it so this is how f strings work and if you still have any doubts you can post them in the comment section below that's it from this video thanks for watching